Yo guys, Haku here again, coming at you with a One Piece anime episode 726 review. And it looks like I got some kind of weird glare thing going on my shoulder, so I'm going to just move the camera a little better. Good enough. Yeah. So, I'm going to try not to fanboy through this whole thing, but it was the episode that people have been counting down for months and months. The one that... Even anime-only watchers probably knew was coming. We got Gear 4. Now, the animation was top-notch for One Piece. Some of the best animation we've had in a very long time. And the biggest thing that I liked about this episode, other than the obvious great fighting between Doflamingo and Luffy, was that we didn't get reused animations. And I don't know why that's such a huge deal to me, but it really bothers me and takes me out of an episode when animations are reused, especially like it was only a few episodes back when the bird nah, when the bird cage is closing in and it's cutting through buildings, and we see it cut through the same buildings like three times, the same people running in the same places. It just it it's not it's not realism, obviously, but it takes you out of what you're watching when you see things like that. Now, getting into some more specific things that I liked, I really like the animation when Luffy kicks off the sandals, goes into bite his arm, and when his muscles are expanding and the hockey tattoos are forming, I really, really enjoyed that, especially the little silhouette they had of the Gumma Gumma no Mi with the tattoos arcing over it and then it sort of faded into his body and the soundtrack was very very nice but I liked that when he does the pose and he says gear forth after transforming he had that sort of little kabuki voice going on and the little like odd sort of musical sound effect they had in the background I I thought that was still cool while hitting comedy notes at the same time, which was really a theme of Gear 4, where it was awesome, it was hype, and at the same time, it had some comedy and funny elements, even though Flamingo, when he first transformed, was laughing at him, why are you bouncing like that? And then getting into the bouncing, the sound effects for it were so good. I just the little bouncing noise as his big bulky strong hockey covered body just gently taps up and down with a little boy you going spring noise now during the transformation it was very nice just amazing soundtrack and I think the soundtrack really stood out this episode and also the more recognizable track towards the end when we got the final bout between Luffy and Doflamingo, that recognizable soundtrack was very well placed and I thought it really added a lot to the little fight that they had going on with the Culverine bouncing around. Now I'm going to talk about Luffy's moves some as they came in and the Kong gun. So great looking, the animation did it perfectly. Just the feeling of it springing back and a lot of times I have complaints about the One Piece anime that there's not enough feeling, there's not enough like impact and weight to a hit and when he hit Doflamingo with the Kong gun I felt like the sound of the sound effect and animation really paired nicely to give it that weight the impact of the hit was palpable in a way now that led into my favorite part of the episode completely. When Doflamingo gets knocked in the amazing scene through all the buildings down into downtown, and he stands up like, whoa, I'm in downtown, I got knocked that far. And my favorite part of the entire episode, the Marines are like, Doflamingo, what's he doing down here in downtown? And Doflamingo just sl slowly stands up with the shadow over him, and he's like, that's what I'd like to know myself. That was such an amazingly delivered line. It was, oh man, just, that was the part where I freaked out and I was like, oh, that is the hype. That is the Gear 4th hype. Kong gun, why am I in downtown? And then a part that's probably 
it probably beat out the Kong gun part for me, and it's probably my second favorite part this episode, was the Rhino Schneider, when Luffy just just speeds off and just collapses Doflamingo's face in with the Gear Fourth version of his stamp moves. The Rhino Schneider sends him through all those buildings and to the platform where Zoro and Usopp's group was recently, and the Pika statue. I just thought the weight of that move was up there with the Kong gun, and the way it looked when Doflamingo went flying through all those buildings towards the statue was so great. And getting into when Luffy was even flying towards him, the sound effect and animation of his flight with the little popping noises as his feet are like just rubber bouncing back and forth into themselves. Just the way that he flew and the way it was construed in the anime was great. They did that part justice. And I don't think that the anime always does good One Piece parts justice, but the way they made Gear 4 really fit what I think it should have been and even improved upon what the manga had given us. Now the final, the hype bout with Doflamingo making his arms and legs covered in hockey and going in on Luffy was just so great. Then he hits him with that one, I think it was athlete, and Luffy just absorbs it with the rubber of his side. And he has the realization that it's armored, but it still has its rubber quality. Just the look on his face, just the subtleties of that scene, again, something that I don't think the One Piece anime always has, were so good and fit so very well into what was going on. Lastly, we got when he used the Culverine, Python, whatever, his arms stretching out, bouncing around, just chasing Do Flamingo down. That was such a great sequence. The only part that I didn't like about that sequence, because the soundtrack when that was going on, the little familiar da 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 that was great, but they used a sound effect that I really don't like. There's this one sound effect that they use occasionally when he stretches his limbs out and he's bringing them back in that's just this goofy little suction type noise and they used that during the Culveron yeah it was the Culverine Python attack and I really don't know how I feel about that it almost ruined the scene for me and it really made the attack feel like it had a lot less impact but it was still great especially when it connects at the very end of the episode that was a great moment it's just the sound effect really threw me off there so in like total review, I've got to say that the uh, animation was great. You couldn't have asked any more of One Piece animation. It looked like they really put some heart into it. They really cared about making this episode. Now getting into the sound effects. The sound effects were hit and miss. I think that the flight sound effects and the Kong gun stuff were brilliant. And the bouncing was on point too. It's just that the little stretching noise that they had towards the end I wasn't really into and there were a couple times when the bouncing just didn't sound right. Like at the very beginning when he first went into Gear Force, the bouncing sounded really cool and then there were a couple parts like when he was bouncing across the buildings that sounded a little they were goofy, they were different, they didn't really... I know it was for comedic effect but it was not the greatest use of their sound effects. Into the soundtrack, the soundtrack this episode was great couldn't have asked for anything more, especially the transformation sequence and the final Luffy versus Doflamingo back and forth that we got towards the end. Soundtrack was probably the part that stood out the most and really shined for me, other than the obvious animation, but the soundtrack really came to the forefront for me in this episode. And so, yeah, I just... I thought it couldn't have been any better with how they do One Piece, and I was just so just happy the entire time, just really enjoyed watching it, especially knowing there were no reused animations, nothing threw me out of it. I was in there, I was invested in what was going on. So I've got to give it a armored but rubbery 10 out of 10. So, if you guys like what I said about the episode, drop a like, subscribe for more One Piece anime, manga, 
more Walking Dead, TV show, comics, more Tower of God, anything else you want. If the chapter is out by the time I'm filming in a couple days, I want to do a couple of Monmusu videos for this weekend. So like, subscribe, follow us on Twitter if you want updates on what's going on, and I will see you guys around.